Good morning everyone, this is Ali from Ali's Cards and Knickknacks. I'm just um, getting ready for a live demonstration using the Happy Hedgehog stamp set and the punch. Now remember, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please uh, like and um, subscribe the little bell in the corner there. And um, if you're watching live today, I would love it if you left me a message or told me um, a hi. Um, that would be fabulous. I always go back and check all the messages, um, which is great. I'll just see if I can get this to let's just see what that looks like on camera. I can see myself on Facebook. Oh, that's better. I'm up the right way. So I've got to remember to leave the camera that way. So I'll just get everything lined up nicely. Uh, while I wait for 10 o'clock to tick over, it's nearly 10 o'clock. But um, today um, I'm very excited. I, I love happy hedgehogs. I love these type of stamp sets. They're great for anyone, male, female or kids alike. Um, I think I have an inner child. Um, I like all the sort of cartoony type uh, stamp sets. I hope everyone's well today and um, going, uh, you know, happy to be here. Um, I love showing you all new stamp sets um, and especially punches. I've got a thing about punches. I love punches. So I have quite a few, believe me. I uh, um, just let you know I have some classes this week, one on Wednesday and one on Saturday, um, and we'll be doing um, Let's Set Sail um, stamp set from Stamping Up, and um, they're sort of uh, pointed more at a male card um, or a child's card. So um, if you would like to come to class, I'd love it. Um, I love having new people at class. And um, if you're looking for a Stamping Up demonstrator, I'm your girl. And um, if you're thinking about joining, um, join. It's a great decision. I love being part of Stamping Up. Um, I have a lovely stamping community that um, come to class regularly. And um, my demonstrators, um, they're lovely ladies. They're all, all just beginner crafters and they just love to make their cards all right let's get going as i said we're using happy hedgehogs great stamp set it's in the um january to june mini catalog and um this is the punch now um i've used the punch not just for the hedgehogs but for a few other things too so um let me start I'll just put them aside, not too far. So the Happy Hedgehog is in there, as I said, in the mini catalogue. And it's on page 64. And for the set, Happy Hedgehog bundle, which is all the stamps and the punch, is $56.50. So uh, I think that's a great price. Today we'll be casing... Um, I hope you can see that okay. Um, this card here and the card in the back here. This one here. I just love this one. And it was much easier than I thought. So I want to just show you how to make those two cards out of the catalogue. So here we go. Here's my samples. So believe it or not, this was the easier one. This one doing this um, painting on the back wasn't very successful, so I've changed it for um, the live demonstration. I wasn't happy with it at all. Okay, so what will we start with? We'll go with the sim simple-ish looking one. Um, so they were trying to make plaid by using our paintbrushes. Um, I'm obviously no painter because um, I wasn't very happy with my um with with the outcome so today just get my little kiss if you do decide you love the stamp set as much as i do um and you purchase the bundle i will 
um, and use my host code of the month, I will send you a, a kit for both of these cards, um, free of charge, free of postage. So let's go. So as I said last week, um, this is a stamping apparatus and I use it to fold all my cards so I get a perfect fold each time. So it just sits next to me. I just fold it over. Perfect fold. I burnish the side. Okay, so that's that. This is for my sentiment. I will cut it down. And this is for the top part. Instead of doing the um, plaid with the paintbrushes, I've decided to use um, Melon Mambo as the background. Um, and we'll go with that. So I'll just cut this card down. It should be around 8 centimetres. And the long side should be around 13 centimetres. Okay. So that fits like that. Okay, now these two are our stamping. I'll just get my mini grid paper here. Now I want my sentiment and my large stamp. So here's the sentiment and my large stamp and a butterfly. There we go, there's the butterfly. So we'll stamp the sentiment first which is, it's so nice of you to be so nice. Isn't that cool? So I'm just going to stamp it more down to the bottom. Save me trimming the bottom. Hope you can see all right. Please let me know if you can't. And let me know what you think of my videos, whether they're helpful, whether they're not, I guess. Um... You know, we've all got to be open when you go public. You've all got to take the good with the bad. And if I'm doing something that you're not happy with, I'd rather know than not know um, so I can improve. Here we go, nicely inked. Now, I just want to put this to the side. There we go. Beautiful. Put that away. Now the butterfly. Now I've inked up the butterfly. It's got quite a lot of detail. So I'm going to actually stamp off right there and then stamp the butterfly. Now I've stamped off because one, I don't want it too dark. Two, I seem to get a better, um, more detail without it being too smudgy. So I think that looks lovely. So I'll just put that there. Cover my ink because you know what happens if you don't. You stick your hand in it and smudge everything. So the colours I'm looking at is Melon Mambo and Flirty Flamingo. Uh, um, And I'm using the light markers for both. And, of course, my favourite green is Granny Apple Green. I'm sure you all would have guessed that. So, just a very quick, it won't take long. I'm doing the centre dot in the flowers. And I'm just doing the right down the bottom here of the buds with the melon mambo then I'm going to come with the flirty flamingo see I'm not actually colouring in the whole flower I, I want there to be white So I'm just following the black lines in the little flowers and a bit of extra colour. So I think that looks good. Now the butterfly, I'm just going to uh, do the wings. The 
this is light flirty flamingo and melon mambo light And that's that's it, I think. I'm just now let's use the granny apple green. Oh, I missed a bud. Because I'm not using um not painting the whole thing, I'm using the fine tips. Now the leaves should only take one or two strokes. How's that looking? Nearly there. Isn't this a quick card? Now I'm just going to put some highlight grass here. Just to sort of highlight grass. There we go, and now I want to do the trunk. Now, who's got the new blends? Um, these are our brand new blends for skin tones, but I'm finding many uses for them. Um, I'm finding that they're great for tree trunks. Now, I don't want a dark tree trunk. I'm just sort of highlighting that. There we go. There's a leaf. So that's that. Now the sentiment is here. I'm going to cut that down using my stamping up trim board, which I love. It makes my life very easy. So there it is. Oh, it goes there. Now, I feel like it needs just something else. So I'm going to use, I think I'll use Melon Mambo and just edge the card like that. All I'm doing is highlighting that edge. This makes a little bit different and we'll put our sentiment up on dimensions. Now I'll just turn it over. I'm just using up all my old bits of dimensions. So one little bit near the end. So because I go through dimensions, I make sure I use up every scary of them. No point wasting the edge. All right, so we'll turn this around. Put that there. And now I'm going to place that in the middle there. Use my little glue pot. If you need a glue pot, let me know. I can sell you one. Now, try and pop that in the middle. And I just think um, maybe a little um, baker's twine down here would be lovely. Just getting some now. Nice white one. Sorry, I didn't have that. So it's a nice baker's twine. It's 
So, uh, hello, ladies or gentlemen who's watching. Leave me a message. Let me know who's there. Look at that. I'll just try and even that up. And a little sticky dot. I found putting a rubber band down the end and poking it out the top of the sleeve, the sticky dots slide out beautifully. Much easier to manage. So I'm just going to fold this and put it just down in that corner there. Put my bow, give it a good push. And trim my tails. There we go. Now, maybe some bling, or you can just leave it like that, how it is. I'll show you the other one from the catalogue. So, very similar cards. I just chose not to do the plaid look and to do everything else the same. And this is how it, I've it's turned out so I'm really happy with it I, I like it very simple and it, it would come under the basis of simple stamping um, but still a nice little card for someone put that aside now this one this is up my line I love doing layering so um, it's basic um, grays card uh, then I've used our new a new paper that you can get in celebrations which by chance is been extended isn't that fabulous so this is the marble looking paper you can get for free if you spend $90 or more and um, again some free paper from celebrations in the background and um, our classic white and stamping and these little heels is actually from the punch um, so it shows how diverse we've made nice little mold hills for our um, hedgehog. So here's the kit all ready to go. Let's just put all my pieces aside. Once again, like a nice clean fold, pop it into the stamp apparatus crease, then burnish. That's the beauty about stamping up. Everything is multi-faceted. Um, so everything coordinates. Everything's got multi-uses. Now, I've cut this down. So this is normally 14.9 lengthways. So I've cut it down to 13 and 10 and a half across. So um, this piece is 13 centimetres. It's going to be glued on straight away. So this is the back of the paper. Right, plenty of glue. Now I want about a centimetre top and bottom. There we go. First layer on. Next layer is this layer here. And that's in our um, celebrations catalogue. So of course I did, oh here, it's right here, I knew I had it. So it is this paper here, Sunshine and Rainbows, which you can get free if you spend the required amount. So um, I decided to, for this card, to use these little love hearts, still the Sunshine paper just another piece which will go about here I'll put about a centimetre or just over a centimetre from this marble paper I'll glue that into place now what I'm doing at the moment is just getting the 
all the base card all ready to go and then I'll show you the rest so that's there now make sure that's glued down well this is the sentiment part which will go in here okay and this is um, roughly six and a half centimeters by seven and a half centimeters now I want to put the sentiment closer to the top here and that's in um, our real red ink so I'll just ink this out yep nicely inked put it on the grid paper so I know it's straight hold your stamp up the right way Al Who's done that? Put their sentiment, stamp their sentiment upside down. We're all guilty of that sometimes. All right, don't worry. I must have had a, a red splotch. That'll be covered up, so I'm not worried at all. Um, I won't glue this in quite yet because I, I want to get where I want it to sit. So that'll go there. Okay. Now, little green strip. This is what we start out with. And this is Granny Apple Green. This is a little stamp with grass blades on it. Oh, hello, Uncle Jeff. How are you, darling? I'm surprised you're watching. There we go. Thank you for dropping by, Uncle Jeff, and watching me stamp away. So I've just added some detail of grass blades there. Now, this is scrap granny apple green piece of cardboard. I'm just going to use the punch, and we use the punches by having them upside down. And I want this shape. This is the back of the porcupine. So I'm just going to punch this out. I need at least four. And that's two. Let's see if I can get another one. I don't think so. So I'll use my other scrap. That's three. That's four. So they will be our hills. Okay. So we're starting to get our bits and pieces ready. Now we're going to stamp the mushrooms. I would like three mushrooms. And I'm going to stamp them in soft suede. Just to soften the edges of the mushrooms. Um, they don't have strong edging. So soft suede, I'm stamping them in. So one, two, three. Okay. And I also need the bird. And I'm going to stamp him in black. So I'll ink him up in black ink. Now I'll just stamp off there we go so you get a much crisper stamp if you stamp first All right so that's a bird now I need the butterfly and that's in black again I'll just reopen my black so butterfly butterfly here he is I ink him up, stamp off, stamp. Very good. Now we need our porcupine. Now, this little fella, I'll make sure I've got him inked up well. He looks good. Now, always pay attention to your punch 
So I'm going to put him in the punch this way. So I've got his bristles up sideways. There we go. And that will make it easy for me um, when I've coloured him in and punched him out. And I'll punch him out. So I'll very quickly colour in right now. And because this is a live presentation, unfortunately, you have to watch me. But I promise to be quite quick. Okay, so I'm going to do the underneath... I'm not worried about the grass because we're going to cut the grass off the side parts and they'll be glued mainly under different things. So not too worried about that. That's my husband's phone you can hear in the background, even though my door's shut. Right. And I just want to give it a bit more definition, so I'm just going to use a darker blend. There we go. It's been a very chaotic morning this morning. I had stitches out. Another sun cancer removed. See, when you're young, you don't think twice about ever getting skin cancers, but unfortunately, the damage we do while we're young is you pay for it when you're older. So I'm leaving the dots free. I'm not colouring them in. Okay. I coloured it. You can always colour in better when you're not live. Not doing any blending. I've just got a straight colour here. Nearly done for the mushrooms anyway. And I'll do the butterfly. There's not much to the butterfly. All right. There we go. So we've got a few specials on. If you join Stamping Up, Besides the normal um, gifts, I guess you, you call it, where you um, spend 100, uh, 169 and receive $235 worth of free pro of products, um, you also will receive two free stamp sets of your choice from um, the annual catalogue, um, which is fabulous. So they average around $30 to $40 a stamp set. So that's about $80 you're saving there. Okay, I'm just doing reverse on the butterfly. There we go. And the birdie. I will use I like blue for him. I'm trying to be as quick as I can so my colouring is not the best. And I just want a really pale colour. So I'm going to use pale papaya down the bottom of his, the birdie's breast. Now we're not going to use the flower. 
um, so we're not colouring in the flower because that will be actually cut off. Okay, just want to do his beak. There we go. Oh, he looks pretty good, don't you think? Now a porcupine. So he's got a light underneath with dark top. And we'll be able to punch him out, so which is very good. Now I'm going to use a darker brown here. Just around. I'm just going to use the dark one on the border, just like that. Then I'm going to go to a lighter brown. So just give him some depth. Right, I'll use the other end now. Love alcohol markers. You can never see a stroke. There we go. Now, now that he's coloured in, I'm going to punch him out. Once again, I've got the punch upside down. I squeeze slightly. That gives me a little bit of tightness so I can make sure he's all lined up. And then punch. And you've got a perfect little character there. So if I had my way, I'd have punches for everything. So now is just cut out our little pieces like that. Which won't take long. And remember when you fussy cut. We move the paper, not the scissors. So you, you can cut two ways. You can leave a little wide edge or you can cut very close to the border, which is what I'm doing today. So I'll very quickly cut my mushrooms out. This one, just turning the card around, sliding your scissors up. Another one, one more mushroom to go. As you can see, I'm cutting off the grass because he's not required. There we go, that one down. Now the birdie, because we're not wanting the birdie, I'm just going to pay attention to his beak because we're cutting off the flower. Wouldn't it be great if they had punches for all these little animals, hey? The job would be done. Now his little feet, I'm just going to go around 
because we're actually going to cut his feet, cut, um, tuck his feet in behind one of the little mounds. But I still like to um, go around them just in case a little bit does peak up. So this card does have a bit more work, but the end result is fabulous. Here we go. Last object, and then we can put everything together, is our butterfly. There we go. Spinning the paper. Butterfly done. Beautiful. Now it's time to put everything together. I've got all my pieces. So I think that will go there. That will go there like that. All right. So we know that goes there. So I'm going to glue the white piece in place with our sentiment. Get him in. And we don't actually glue the um, granny apple green in place yet because we've got to put our little mounds in. And we're going to add some definition to them. And we do that by using granny apple green stamp pad. Getting a bit messy here. So... And I'm going to just use one of these little dobbers here, stamping up, sell them. And I'm just dabbing into the stamp pad and giving it a nice edge. So I want two to go that way. You can put as much or as little as you like. The decision's yours. But it actually is nicer if you do do it. And two to go in the other direction. There we go. Last one. Very easy. But does it just makes it look lovely, doesn't it? And we also will do a bit of a highlight on the green, granny apple green. Top and bottom. There we go. So I'll just close the ink pad. Uh, yeah. So that fits perfectly. I like to check. Now I need to glue these on first because we need to trim them. So let's get started. So number one there. Number two, we put glue on the front of it because we're going to glue him on the back of the strip. That. We want him a bit low. There we go. These ones. So one here. I think he'll go there. And one down the bottom. I might slide him off. So it doesn't matter that they go over top and bottom. It's just the sides. So use your scissors because you can clean them up with wet ones. Trim the excess off. Try and be straight out. Trim this side. Right. Okay. 
So, beautiful. Now I can glue it onto my card. I hit glue on the back. Make sure it goes from edge to edge best you can. Yeah, that's great. Glue that in, give it a press. Now, before this little edge glues down, I want to put my hedgehog in place because he's right in the middle of the card, but I want his tail to go under here, sort of as if he's coming out from somewhere. There we go. Lovely. Now we're going to put our birdie in, just lightly glue. We're not going to press him down though. Not yet. So I just want him in place. So he goes under there. Because I want a mushroom to go behind him. And yes, you would think you could put your mushroom in first, but until you know where your birdie's gone, it just makes it a bit hard. So there you go. There's the birdie. There's my hedgehog and my mushroom. They all get a press down now because they're all in position. Then the butterfly that will sit on top. On top of our... There we go. How's he looking? Pretty good. And our two mushrooms. Last but not least, a little bit of glue. Slide him under. Last mushroom. He goes under as well. Don't cover up your sentiment. Oh, there we go. And that's all done. So now you can decorate inside. I did in my first example. Right, just make sure that's glued down. There we go. And you can just put your white card in, stamp a little um, birdie and some grass. That's all you need. And then you can write in it. So there we go. There's our two cards for today. I love this one. It's my favourite. And this one here. So I up, up, up this one and um, I pretty much kept this one the same as the catalogue. It didn't need any changing. I felt like they had done a superb job. And, um, yep, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed today's demonstration. Um, it, was, it was my pleasure to bring it to you today. Remember, if you'd like to join my uh, team, we're called the Messy Stampers, um, just leave me a message and I'll get in touch with you. Okay, um, hope to see you next Tuesday for another demonstration. All the best. God bless. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.